Welcome back to our IB Physics video series. This is the third video in IB Physics Topic 2, Mechanics, where we will be looking at common mechanics scenarios, slopes and suspended masses. Before watching this video, make sure you have watched our second video in our IB Physics Topic 2 video, where we looked at the basics of forces. In this video, we covered that the reaction force of an object on a flat surface is equal and opposite to the object's weight. As a result, solid friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the reaction force. But what happens if an object is at equilibrium on a sloped surface at any angle theta? In this, the reaction force is perpendicular to the object and friction is parallel to the surface. According to Newton's first law, all forces are balanced at equilibrium. So, completing the force diagram with weight, we can then form a force triangle with the three applied forces. Since the reaction force is perpendicular to the surface and friction is parallel, the two vectors form a right angle. From this, we can then see that reaction force is equal to weight times cosine of theta and friction is equal to weight times sine of theta. There are two variations of this scenario. The block is held stationary, i.e. at static equilibrium. Here, friction is static and equal to weight times sine of theta. A variation of this involves using a rope to keep the block stationary. In this scenario, the tension is equal to weight times sine of theta. The block is moving at a constant velocity, i.e. dynamic equilibrium. The third force is thus dynamic friction also equal to weight times sine of theta. Let's take a look at an example question. A 15 kilogram box is placed on a 45 degree slope and moves at a constant speed of 0.5 meters per second. A, what is the reaction force? B, what is the force of friction on the box? C, draw an appropriate free body diagram. For A, reaction force equals weight times cosine of theta which is 104 newtons. For B, friction equals weight times sine of theta, which is also 104 newtons. For C, the free body diagram should show an arrow for weight downwards from the center of the box, a shorter arrow for the reaction force perpendicular to the surface, and an equally short arrow for the friction force parallel to the surface towards the box. Other problems might ask to solve for different units, such as slope angle and object mass, but the same equations are of use in these variations. So, what about suspended masses? Earlier we covered that tension of a rope on a hanging object is equal and opposite to the object's weight. But what happens if two ropes at angles theta and omega to the ceiling are used to suspend a mass? In this, there are two tension forces going in different directions. According to Newton's first law, all forces are balanced at equilibrium. So, completing the force diagram with weight, we can then form a force triangle with the three applied forces. If theta plus gamma equals 90 degrees, the weight and the tension forces are trigonometrically related. Thus, tension 1 equals weight times sine theta, and tension 2 equals weight times sine gamma. So what if theta and gamma do not equal 90 degrees? In this case, the forces are more difficult to relate, so the tension forces are broken into their x and y components. This is because we know that the suspended mass is at static equilibrium. So the sum of the x direction forces is zero, and the sum of the y direction forces is zero. The formulas for the x direction tension forces, tension x1, equals tension 1 times cosine theta, and tension x2 equals tension 2 times cosine gamma. The formulas for the y direction tension forces are thus tension y1 equals tension 1 times sine theta, and tension y2 equals tension 2 times sine gamma. The sum of x direction forces is zero, so tension x1 must equal tension x2. Equally, the sum of y direction forces is zero. So tension y1 plus tension y2 must equal weight. 
From this system of equations, the two tension forces can be found. Let's take a look at an example question. A 6.2 kilogram box is suspended by two ropes with angles of 20 degrees and 30 degrees. Calculate the tension forces in the ropes. So, 20 plus 30 equals 50 degrees, meaning we have to resolve our tension forces. So, tension 1 times cosine of 20 equals tension 2 times cosine of 30. And tension 1 times sine 20 plus tension 2 times sine 30 equals weight. Rearrange the first equation to isolate tension 1 and substitute this into the second equation and isolate for tension 2, which is 74.5 newtons. Plugging that value back into the first equation gives tension 1 of 68.7 newtons. The final answer is thus 69 newtons and 75 newtons. A special scenario of suspended masses is the use of a frictionless pulley. This can appear in two forms, an edge pulley and a ceiling pulley. In an edge pulley, a mass is suspended from a rope connected to another second mass on a surface. Questions here can occur at equilibrium or during acceleration. At equilibrium, the weight of the suspended mass equals the friction exerted on the second mass. The formula for this is mass 1 multiplied by gravity equals the coefficient of static friction multiplied by mass 2 multiplied by gravity. This also equals the tension. During acceleration, the friction is lower than the weight, resulting in a net force that accelerates the masses. The formula for this is mass 1 times gravity subtract coefficient of static friction multiplied by mass 2 multiplied by gravity, which equals mass 1 plus mass 2 multiplied by acceleration. Tension equals mass 1 times gravity subtract mass 1 times acceleration, or Tension would equal mass 2 times acceleration plus the coefficient of static friction multiplied by mass 2 multiplied by gravity. Let's take a look at an example question. A 1.5 kilogram mass is suspended from a pulley attached to a 2 kilogram mass, experiencing a frictional force of 10 newtons. A. What is the acceleration of the masses? B. What is the tension in the rope? For A, the weight of the mass minus the force of friction is 4.7 newtons. Thus, the masses are accelerating. So, 4.7 newtons equals mass 1 plus mass 2 times by acceleration. And so the acceleration is 1.3 meters per second squared. For B, tension equals mass 2 times acceleration plus friction, which is 13 newtons. In a ceiling pulley, a mass is suspended via a pulley fixed to the ceiling. Like normal, the tension in the rope is equal to the weight of the object. However, as you add more pulleys, the tension in the ropes decreases. This effect is called mechanical advantage, used so that less force needs to be applied to the open end of the rope to lift an object. This applied force is equal to the tension in the rope. The formula for the tension in the rope is weight of the object divided by the number of unanchored rope segments. Let's look at an example. A 128 kilogram mass is suspended from a pulley attached to a ceiling as shown below. What is the mass of the object attached to the open end? There are three unanchored rope segments. The tension in the rope is now the weight of the object divided by the number of unanchored rope segments, which is 418 newtons. Divide this by gravity to obtain the missing mass, which is 42.7 kilograms. You have now covered all of the content you need for common mechanics scenarios to get full marks in the exam. We hope you enjoyed the third video in our IB Physics Topic 2 video series. Check out our notes, flashcards and questions on our website to reinforce your understanding from this video.